Hi folks, uh, what I have today is a 1981 Kawasaki 440 LTD. Um, overall, just a really nice bike. Um, I'll try and uh, point out the flaws it does have. And again, it's an 81, so it does have a few. But know this, the bike is clean, very clean, I think. Brand new set of tires on it. Uh, 5,209 miles. That will go up slightly as time goes by. Um, probably the biggest flaws on the bike are on the tank. Sort of point out some uh, scratches in the paint. That's a pretty good one. Ding here. And there are. There's some scratches for sure. Uh, not as many on the other side. In fact, there's one there. Not perfect. But I tell you what, if you find a bike any nicer than this in 1981, you should probably buy it. Um, let me tell you this history as far as I know it. Uh, the guy I bought it from, I believe, had owned it since uh, 1988. Quit riding it around 92 when the carburetors uh, were giving him problems. And then subsequently uh, turned around and bought a Harley. And of course, that was the end of this bike. However, it has sat in a heated and air-conditioned garage ever since, which again, I mean, look at the chrome on the bike. Um, the, in the engine case, you can see the thing just hasn't had uh, weathering from sitting outside, that sort of thing. It's clean. Um, let's point this out. There's a little cut in the seat. I imagine that could probably be put right back together. Um, haven't tried now here's the biggest thing on the bike that you do need to know about it runs good it doesn't run perfect as I mentioned the guy had put it away when the carburetors were giving him trouble he had had somebody try to rebuild the carburetors that sort of thing and just never could get the bike to really run right and again that's why it sat all that time so when I bought it I played with the carburetors myself put kits in it and in fact, if somebody wants those carburetors, heck, I'd probably throw those in on the sale. But in the meantime, what I've done is I bought from 11th Hour Industries, and feel free to please look that up. Uh, they're kind of famous for this. But basically, it's a two-into-one intake manifold that's hand-built, as you can see there. And then going on to that is a Makuni 34 millimeter carburetor and I bought that brand new and then I've put the jets in it that were suggested uh, from the guy that developed that intake manifold and the bike runs good especially when you actually get it out on the road and get it get to running it runs great in fact um, and it will idle and all that kind of good stuff well uh, it can start a little hard sometimes when it's completely cold but nothing that it's that terrible uh, but a little rough when it's cold once it's warm and right now it's been sitting here for an hour and a half while I kind of gave some polish to it so it's going to be half warm so not necessarily real indicative of uh, a cold start however you know it, it it's, it's fairly cool um, what more do I need to say oh and what I tried to say is it runs good but then when you're sitting at a stoplight stop sign you come off the stop sign and you go to take off it wants to hesitate just off idle we're not talking even probably a quarter throttle just kind of right off idle it wants to hesitate for just a little bit and then once it goes it goes and it runs good um, I haven't been able to get that tuned out just as far as turning some adjustment screws uh, I'm not sure if it needs a different needle what it might need but I'm kind of happy with it the way it is um, the new owners welcome to do whatever they want but uh, anyway enough of that yakking let's see if I can get the bike to start here and this shouldn't be hard I'm not even gonna try and put uh, any choke on the bike at all let's see if I can just get it to start like it is I probably have to put down the phone because I recall uh, it has to have the clutch in but let's try it guess not Well, there you go. The bike runs really well. Like I said, I, I kind of I've nitpicked it a little bit on you. As you can see, it comes down to idle just fine. 
Um, like I say, I, I'm nitpicking a little bit when I talk about how it runs. The bike runs good. It does. Uh, I tend to be a little picky, so trying to think of anything else you might want to see on the bike. Basically, I think I'll leave it at that, and if there's anything more you want to know, let me know. Um, title is in hand. There's no liens of any type, that sort of thing. It's ready to go. It's ready to go to a new owner. Thanks. Bye.